What's up, Barbie family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have 50 organizational ideas using Dollar Tree products. This video has been in the making for over two months now. I've been organizing everything because I live in a smaller home and with a baby on board, it's making it a little bit harder every time I open up something new of his. Living in a smaller home, I like to keep things organized, otherwise everything starts to look a little too cluttered. So if you live in a smaller home like I do, or a smaller apartment, hopefully these ideas really help you out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure you subscribe. I upload lots of Dollar Tree related videos, like DIYs and organizational videos. With that being said, let's begin the video. Do you have a bunch of cookie pans, pizza pans, just laying all around the place and you really don't know how to organize them? I have the perfect solution. You wanna pick up one of these dish racks from Dollar Tree and you do with it as you would when you're washing the dishes. You just place all of your flat cooking pieces inside of there. Now everything is upright and nicely organized. It's easy to see everything and just grab as you need versus having to rummage through a bunch of pieces. One of my favorite Dollar Tree hacks is using the wall mount wire racks to hold mugs on. They come with screws and drywall anchors. We ended up using our own drywall anchors because the ones that they come with are pretty huge and we didn't want to put a gigantic hole like that inside of our walls. I'm going to be using a picture of mine to cover up the top portion of the rack. All you have to do is figure out where it's going to be placed, drill your holes in, put the drywall anchors and then the screws through that. You really want to use the screws and nothing like command strips with this because if you're going to hang mugs off of it, you don't want the mugs to come crashing down on you. Once we had it in place, I put my picture back up and I hang up my mugs. For one buck, I have a coffee mug holder. I showed you how to create a system using these and I'll try to link that down below for you guys as well if you want something bigger to hold more coffee mugs. If you're like me and you have the aluminum foil, plaster wrap, parchment paper laying all over the place, you can pick up one of Dollar Tree's book bins. They have them in different colors and use this to organize those pieces. You just place them right inside of the book bin. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it's nicely organized versus falling all over the place. We're gonna move on to one of my messy cabinets. This cabinet is filled with food that I cannot see. I don't know if it's going out of code. Sometimes I buy something that I already have because it's just unorganized. I'm starting off with these canisters. They come in a three quart size and a two quart size. I use these canisters to store chips. Now I actually filmed this video two months ago and during that time I have used these nonstop and they have kept my chips Fresh. Not once did any of those chips go stale on me. You just got to make sure you're closing the lid and you're keeping it nice and tight. Remember this, whatever you stick inside of these canisters, if you do not think that you are going to eat it before it expires or you're just not certain, you want to remove the expiration date off of the packaging and tape that to the bottom or the front. You can even write it out or use a labeler to put that on top of the canister. Another great organizing piece are these Sure Fresh container and lids. Now the lid on top of it opens up on one side and it's a snap open and close lid. The great thing about these storage containers is they're on the thinner side. They're about as wide as a cereal box. So they're great for people who don't have pantries or smaller kitchens and not a lot of cabinet space. Now something I love to use when it comes to organizing things that are already individually wrapped like crackers, popcorn, are these organizing baskets. They have three different sizes, small, medium, and large. The medium comes in a two pack and the small comes in a three pack. If you do something like this, you want to cut out the expiration date to the box of the items you stick inside of there if there's no expiration date already on the packaging so you know when it goes bad. These organizers work well with things that are individually wrapped. Next up, we have the SureFresh Clip and Lock containers. These hold up to 94 fluid ounces, and I ended up finding ones that were even bigger about a month later. I do not eat cereals on a daily basis, but I do snack on cakes dry within a week since I filmed that particular clip. I did not experience any staleness from these containers. If you're looking for a smaller snap and lock container, you can use the veggie storage containers from Dollar Tree. They come with a little basket in the inside. You just remove the basket and then store whatever you want inside of there. Dollar Tree doesn't carry a smaller version of the snap and lock containers, so this works out perfectly. Finally, from Dollar Tree, I'm using these glass 
jars with lids and I find these to be very helpful when storing items that are more for like baking or things that I use as toppings. So I put my marshmallows in there and then my chocolate chips. A great way to stay organized is by labeling things. So Dollar Tree carries these chalkboard stickers that I really like. Now I do have a labeler but I wanted to put the labels that I made on top of those chalkboard stickers because I thought that it would look nicer that way. So I was just printing things out on my labeler and then placing that on top of the chalkboard stickers. Dollar Tree does carry chalk markers if you want to use those, permanent markers, there's different things that you can choose from. This is easier for me to do because after pregnancy I've had issues with my hand. On the labels if you like you can also put the date that the food goes bad. So I went ahead, got all my labels ready, and then started placing them on top of my containers. I've had these labels on these containers for about a week, and I will say this, the labels do tend to come off of the containers that are round. So the containers that are holding the chips and the containers that were holding the nuts, the labels kept kind of coming off because they were rounded. Whereas every other one, it stood on. That is Cooper. <laughs> Here's how the cabinet looked before, and this is how it looks now. It cost me under $20 for all of these items to organize. If you go to Walmart, you can get a three pack of organizers for $20, and that is the Walmart brand. That's not even the fancy brand. And some of the products I showed, especially the SureFresh products, they do carry bigger sizes of them. You just got to find them at your local Dollar Tree. I started this almost two month log organizational journey mainly to make room for baby items, specifically in my kitchen. And I found that these organizing baskets are great for organizing baby food. You can use them to lay out the glasses and pouches that baby food comes in and it's nice and organized where you can clearly see what is inside of the jar and what you need more of. Moving on to the utensil drawer. Mine's is a big mess and that needs to change. I'm going to start off by taking out all of the measuring cups and spoons. I decided to use these command strips from Dollar Tree to hang my measuring cups on top of my wall inside of the kitchen. Most of the walls inside of my kitchen have tile on them so I'm placing these on top of a tile surface. Remember that Dollar Tree command strips do leave behind residue when you take it off of your wall. When it comes to the tile it's not a big deal it's easy to clean but if you have just straight up regular drywall it could end up removing the paint or leave behind a residue if you are afraid that that's gonna happen you can always get name brand command strips at Dollar Tree they come one in a pack they are larger than this or you can go to Walmart Target and get the smaller sized command strips. I've had these cups hanging like this for over a month now. It is so functional and the best thing is it removed all of this clutter that was inside of my utensil drawer. I did the same thing with my measuring spoons except this time I used the smallest Dollar Tree brand command strips and I placed them inside of my cabinet near all of my spices. If you do this and you place it inside of a cabinet you just want to make sure that the cabinet is able to close without the spoons blocking anything like a shelf or items inside of the cabinet. Now I ended up switching my utensil drawer with Matt's junk drawer. Matt has a junk drawer that's bigger than our utensil drawer. When it was just Matt and me, it worked fine, but because we're making room for Cooper's utensils, I wanted something that is bigger. The first thing I did was place my main utensil holder inside of the drawer. It's from Walmart, it cost me $1.97. Dollar Tree also carries utensil holders. These drawer organizers from Dollar Tree are great for organizing utensils. I was only able to find the medium size one, I was looking for the one that is longer and a little bit less wide. Because I wasn't able to find the one I wanted at Dollar Tree, I ended up purchasing this three bin pack from home goods for $9.99. The smallest one in there is the size of the one that Dollar Tree carries and the one that I was looking for. I placed the largest one inside of the drawer as well as the smallest one inside of my drawer. Then I took the Dollar Tree one and I placed that on top of the larger one so I can create two different sections. I suggest placing items that you rarely use in the back of the drawer. For instance, I place some crab leg crackers that we rarely ever use in the back. I recommend placing pieces that you always use toward the front of the utensil drawer. So I placed our pizza cutter, some kitchen shears, the can opener. I went from a really unorganized, messy utensil drawer to something that is super functional and looks 
nice and perfect. We'll see how long it stays this way because, you know, life. A great organizational piece for your refrigerator are these pencil holders. There's a big suction cup on the back of this that you could just put on your refrigerator. If you want something more magnetic, you can get magnets from Dollar Tree and use those. Inside of one of these, I place some of Cooper's spoons, so when I'm opening the refrigerator looking for food and he's screaming and crying, it's right there for me to grab. Inside of the other one, I place pencils and scissors because I'm always looking for both of those. Dollar Tree also carries these magnetic tins you could put whatever you want inside of there and just place that on top of your refrigerator I ended up painting a chalkboard from Dollar Tree and put that on the refrigerator too so now I have this command center that is easy to stay organized with do you have a small entryway where there is nowhere to put shoes? Our basement's currently being done by Matt and so he leaves his shoes in this entryway and they're always in the way. A great solution to hang up a couple of shoes is by getting the Dollar Tree over the door hooks. They have them in black and white. You just place them over the door and you're able to hang a couple of shoes up. This helps clear the area so there isn't shoes in the way and you're not tripping over shoes. If you need to hang more than a couple of shoes, you can always go on Amazon and get the over the door shoes shoe organizers they're bigger I thought it would look too funny in my entryway I just needed something to hang a few shoes and now Pepper's like thank you mom there's finally room so I don't have to jump over a bunch of shoes now we're gonna be going under the bathroom sink you might have an area where there's a lot of wasted space from Dollar Tree you can pick up these drawer shelves and this adds more space to an area where there's wasted space I was able to use these so that I could store things under there and on top of it I used all sorts of pieces from Dollar Tree like this fridge soda can storage to place items that we had extra of like this body soap that Matt really likes and it got discontinued. I also used some small little organizational pieces to put extra toothpaste we have on hand, extra razors, and all of this was able to go under the shelf. On top of the shelves, I placed this dish pan. I use this one to store items that I have extra of or items that we just don't use too often. So with the help of those Dollar Tree shelves, I was able to create more real estate under my bathroom sink. I have that pan there and then I have all the extra storage under there. I did the exact same thing on the opposite side, but in that dish pan, I put items that we tend to use more often. This is a little medicine cabinet that's inside of my bathroom and it drives me insane. We really let it go over the past year, especially when I got pregnant. So there's a bunch of things inside of there I need to get rid of and definitely need to organize. When you're working on any area that looks like this, you're obviously going to have to go through it all and decide what you're going to keep and what you're going to get rid of. There was definitely things inside of here where it had already expired and or I just didn't use it anymore. Like these Prego Pops, I do not miss them. Reminds me of morning sickness. So I went through everything and then it was time to organize. A great item Dollar Tree carries to organize things like lotions, first aid kits, are these little buckets. They come in a three pack. Some ideas for use with these buckets, you can make a first aid bucket, just put Neosporin in there, the band-aids. You can do a summer bucket with, with sunscreen, mosquito spray. I did a lotion bucket that held lotions that I don't put on too often. It's not my everyday lotion. Then I condensed down on makeup and used one of those buckets to put my makeup in. If you have a big makeup collection, you can maybe use one of the buckets to put your everyday makeup. I ventured out of Dollar Tree for this next product. I picked it up at five below and it's a mini organizer. You can find even smaller ones from Dollar Tree. You'll see me use them in a sec, but I wanted a system like this for the inside of my cabinet. I use the organizers to put things for upset stomach. One of them has stuff that belongs to Cooper. Dollar Tree has its own mini drawer organizers. It's two drawers and it's very, very small. So what can you do with this when it comes to the bathroom? You can use it to hold your ponytail holders, which is what I did. I used one of them for just the ponytail holders. You can also use it to hold some of your loose pills, the pills that come inside of little packets. We have a few of those on hand. And then I even used one of the drawers to put some extra pill you don't bottles. have to just use these inside of the bathroom you can use them in a crafting area putting glue sticks inside of there thumbtacks little pins it's all up to you I'll be using one of those cabinet shelves inside of my cabinet and another one of those little book bins I use the book bin to store vitamins. So it's not our everyday vitamins, they're vitamins that we take on occasion or when we're sick. 
We keep our everyday vitamins inside of the kitchen so we remember to take it every day. These small drawer baskets are awesome because they also come in a three pack so you really get a lot of bang for your buck. Storing the lens wipes this way allowed me to get rid of the big bulky box that they come in. With the last basket I had on hand, I put things that are for the throat so cough drops and dry mouth drops went inside of there. The baskets I just showed come in a bigger size and it's two in a pack. I used one of them to store my feminine hygiene products. I was contemplating taking this clip out, but what is the point? It's natural. It's nothing to be ashamed of, so I left it in. On the top of that shelf, I added small baskets with miscellaneous items and then one that's just for my sister. She comes over and helps Cooper, so I put some items that she uses when she's over. Then I took my labeler and I just started to label everything inside of there. Some of the labeling was completely unnecessary. I just like the way it looks and also significant others. Am I right? Where's this? Where's that? If there's a label in front of your face and you still can't find it, I am not helping you. That's how I took this medicine cabinet from drab to fab. It was a long time coming and it's still like this for it's about two months since I've done this. Thank God. This hack, I've done so many DIYs for it throughout the years. If you're not familiar, all you have to do is get some of the small little crates that Dollar Tree carries. If you cannot find them at Dollar Tree, they carry them at Walmart for 97 cents. All you do is you use Dollar Tree zip ties to attach them together and you're creating basically like a cube organizing unit that you can store shoes in, small little coffee mugs, makeup, different items. In this particular DIY, I ended up spray painting this thing brown and I made this wooden piece that went over it. I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested but it's a great way to create cube organizing systems using Dollar Tree product for a very inexpensive price. Do you have a bunch of things that you need in your main living space but you have nowhere to put them? I recommend getting the Dollar Tree buckets. They come in so many different colors. I got this gray bucket that matches perfectly with my decor. I have these toys in the front room that I always use with Cooper. I like to place the toys inside of the bucket and put the bucket underneath his swing. It keeps it nice and organized and I'm not afraid of him knocking it over when he starts crawling because it's so lightweight. You can also use the bucket to store a throw blanket. I recently uploaded a tutorial where I used a Dollar Tree pizza pan to create a lid for the bucket and I use it to store a throw blanket and it looks very nice. Another idea to store items in a main living area is to hide it in places that you could, whether it be an end table, a credenza like I'm using, or underneath your couch. You can get some flatter organizing bins from Dollar Tree. Now for me, I am actually using these to put baby wipes, diaper cream, lotion that we use on Cooper all the time diapers inside of these bins. I have a space in my credenza where I place these bins inside of there. So I have one bin with just overnight diapers, one bin with extra baby wipes, the diaper cream, lotions, and then the other bin with the diapers we use all the time and some baby wipes. So I have these all in the front room so we don't have to carry him into the bedroom to change him. And the diaper caddy that you can buy, though it is nice, I don't have anywhere to put that inside of the front room where it wouldn't be hidden. You can use these flatter organizing pieces to hide anything you like and you can also hide it underneath your couch if you have a gap just slide it right under there it's easy to access but it's not in the naked eyes view one of my favorite items to organize with are the fabric storage containers from Dollar Tree it's kind of obvious what you do with them you organize with them you can use the Dollar Tree chalkboard tag clothes pins and just clip them to the front or the side of your container and write out what's inside I decided to use some of their chalkboard tags and glue it to the front of my storage containers. I am going to be using these inside of Cooper's room. I have a stereo light crate that I recently bought to store some of his clothes for the future. On top of that is where I placed the storage containers. I have a basket that has some of the boppy covers, one that has some of the pack and play and mattress covers, and then another one that has some shoes. Using these type of containers works well for anybody's closet, but I really enjoy using them inside of my baby's closet where you have all these tiny little things and you're trying to figure out where exactly to place them. Now this might seem like an obvious thing, but it wasn't for me. When Cooper started growing out of clothes, I started to store the clothes and I was just putting them directly in a bin. So this right here is an example. I'm just putting it inside of a laundry basket because I didn't have a bin upstairs and it would just take up a lot of space. My clueless self remembered always seeing 
vacuum storage bags on TV and in commercials. So I thought, hey, let me go get it. And they are game changers. If you've never used one before and you're trying to store things, especially clothing, go get yourself some vacuum storage bags. Dollar Tree carries one large storage bag for $1. Depending on how many bags you need, it might be worth more to go to a different store and buy a bigger pack versus getting one for a dollar at Dollar Tree. All you have to do is fill your bag up, then you close the bag at the end where you were filling it up, remove the cap off of the vacuum area, and then you place your vacuum down there and suction out all the air, and it really condenses everything. So you can see now me placing this bag inside of the laundry basket, how much less space it takes up. And this has worked so well when I have been storing Cooper's clothes. By using the vacuum bags, you're able to store a lot more inside of your bins. You can also use the vacuum bags to store seasonal decor and have everything nicely organized. If you have multiple rooms decorated, you can use the storage bags to put the decorations per room. So when you open it up, you know this is for the kitchen, this is for the bedroom, whatever it might be. Side note, don't make the mistake that I did. If you have anything that's sharp, put it more toward the center of the bag and not the ends of the bag because when I took my vacuum to one of these, the pick made a hole inside of the bag and it ruined it. Let's talk about linen closet organization. I love these faux wire looking baskets from Dollar Tree. I like to store smaller towels in there like hand towels. I have a certain way that I fold them. I actually roll them up and I place them inside of the wire basket. You can use chalkboard tags yet again on these type of baskets. I'm going to be writing this time with the chalk writer from Dollar Tree. Now this clip is from last year. You can tell because I'm wearing my wedding ring. I no longer wear it because I do not fit in it. I need to get it resized. I also use these type of baskets to store washcloths and I like to use these to store washcloths because I have different color ones and I put out the different types of colors depending on the season or the holiday. I'm able to clearly see which washcloths I want because the basket you can see through. A great item for your linen closet are the Dollar Tree storage bins with lids. I like to place kitchen towels inside of these, things that I don't pull too often, as well as washcloths that are old and I can use them for other things like staining wood or cleaning something that I don't want to use a good washcloth on. These open storage bins are great for placing things like light bulbs. Everybody has an area that they put their light bulbs in. Mine's is in my linen closet and also somewhere to put your iron. It's right there in your face and it's not just hanging around with wires everywhere. I recommend the Dollar Tree baskets that they have on hand for putting smaller flatter sheet type of items like pillowcases i ended up putting my heat pad inside of there it's nice and thin and fits really well inside of a linen closet if you're looking for a place to put your ironing board, you can always get one of these tool hooks from Dollar Tree and screw that into your door. If you don't want to do that, you can get the over the door hooks. You just place it right over the door and then put your ironing board through the hooks and both of them hold the ironing board just fine. I absolutely love this hack. It's inexpensive and it's a great way to store your ironing board so it's not in your way. I filmed all this linen closet stuff when I was like six months pregnant and looking back at it, I feel so bad for myself. I could not breathe at that point. I had a nasal strip on me. Gonna move into what I would call a cleaning supply closet. In this closet, there was a lot of wasted space. This item I'm gonna be using is not from Dollar Tree. I got it at Ross for $2.99, but it's a hanging shelf. Basically, you just slide it onto a shelf that already exists and it creates more storage for you. So I went ahead and I just hung that on the only shelf that's inside of this closet. I was able to fill that up with some of my cleaning supplies and I was also able to hang some of the cleaning supplies off of it. Next up, you can use command strips. Yeah, to get from Dollar Tree, I recommend getting the name brand ones for this to hang up lightweight cleaning supplies like dusters or squeegees with handles. I also love these universal tool hooks. They do come with screws and you can screw that directly into your wall. I just bend the hook a bit and I'm able to hang things like my broom off of these and it just makes it so much more organized rather than having your broom and your duster and all that just lying inside of the closet. I even use these to hang some attachment pieces to my vacuum. Now I have nothing else lying all over the floor. It is nice and clean. 
Some organizational ideas for underneath the kitchen sink. You can get command strips again from Dollar Tree and one of their baskets. Feed the strips through the basket and then attach that inside of the cabinet. You could place all types of things inside of this as long as it's more on the lightweight side. So for instance, I put some extra sponges that I have on hand inside of there and a scrubbing brush with the handle. You just want to put lightweight things inside of there. If you're going to do anything heavy, you're probably going to want to nail the basket into the cabinet. Another great way to create space and height within your drawers and cabinets is by using the corner shelves from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and I used two of them underneath the sink. I put my garbage bags on top of there, some other different little pieces, and then I also had space under that to add other things. I recommend having two different baskets underneath your kitchen sink and your bathroom sink. One of the baskets has extra supplies and then the main basket has the items that you tend to use more often. So underneath my kitchen sink, I did the same thing that I did inside of the bathroom. The difference was I used a smaller basket for the items in the kitchen. This hack, I'm not using a Dollar Tree product. It is this tension rod that I got from Target. What I did is I took the tension rod, I expanded it, tightened it up, and I used that to hang sprays off of. I get a lot of real estate underneath my kitchen sink, and I say real estate, and I don't even know if you know what I'm talking about, but pretty much I'm able to use a lot of space underneath my sink other than just the shelf that is at the bottom. I'm able to use shelves from Dollar Tree to create more shelves, and I'm able to use the tension rod to create another area to keep more products. So that's it for all these Dollar Tree organizing hacks with a little bit of extra bonuses in between. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.